congratulations here at the Masters. Produced steady performance, not be brilliant best, but didn't need to be, but you must be happy with that. Yeah, you, you know, it was it was a steady performance. I think there was a couple of you know, a couple of moments where I was a little bit, you know, not scoring very well and you know, I don't think Devon punished me in certain moments to, to make me play well, but there was a couple of good legs in there. Um, but I know that, you know, like like you say, it's a steady performance. I did what I needed to do and that was win. It's quite like when you have an opponent change quite quite late on you're prepping to play on St Nathan and then get some play out and break down. What's, what's that like to mentally prepare for? You know, it's not a lot different because it's not really much between the top 32 in the world. We're all, we're all as good as each other in a way. We just, you know, the top four, top eight always turn up more than the people below them. So, yeah, you know, obviously Nathan but it was, I thought he was playing okay. I thought he was, I thought he was going to, I didn't expect him to pull out. Um, but I think he did the right decision for him because, you know, this is non-ranked and, you know, next weekend is more important for him. Uh, but yeah, you know, I knew I'd a good replacement with Devon. I know how well he can play, so he didn't play his best there, but you know, it, it didn't really affect the way I would have prepared for the, for the game. To so the naked eye, slightly different darts in the World Championship? Yeah, you know, they, they are actually the same darts, just without the colour of blue dye in the middle, but you know, I'm, I'm doing a bit of chop and change at the moment, trying to figure out a barrel that suits me really well, but the Red Dragon darts that I brought out are actually good, and you know, I think I'm going to probably use them um, in the next in the next tournament so after love this you, weekend. Love you, love you. Love you, Devon. Um, I'm going to change to them. Uh, I just need a bit of time. I think, you know, a lot of people are saying, you know, you're not using your regular, I will be using them, but I just need that bit of time to get used to them. And, and once I am used to them, I'll get ready. But they're, they're a fantastic dart. I feel comfortable in everything I'm throwing. I'm just going to take some time because I've used their mold darts for five years, but these were the same ones. Different tournament, same venue. What was it like coming back here knowing that you've already reached one major final in this venue? Yeah, it's, you know, it's a great, I think I always do well on my TV, I think, you know, UK Open and the Players' Championship Finals, I played well there, so yeah, I always seem to do alright in, in the ITV competition, so, you know, I don't know what it is, it might be the, the, the feeling and the throw might feel great, but, you know, I made a, a major final on that stage down there for the lockdown time, so, I'd love to make another one, but I'm going to have to play a lot, lot better than I did today. Michael Max, someone that you have beaten on this very stage. Are you looking forward to, to that challenge again? And do you think you've maybe got a slight advantage having already played in the tournament? Yeah, I mean, you know, when you're playing top players, it's always that excitement and buzz because it's great. You, you, you're always the underdog, so you, you want to you know, create that upset and stuff. But, you know, Michael's, he's not playing his A-plus game like we all know he can. If he, if he plays his A-plus game like he says he can, if he can, no one beats him, but he's not playing that like that at the moment. And um, you know, more pressure is going to be on his shoulders than it is mine. But I think in the back of his mind, he'll know how well I can play. I don't think he'll be taking the game against me for granted. I think he knows from that UK game semi final how well I can play. So you know, it, hopefully I can score better because I will need to, and hopefully we'll make it a good game. Thanks, Foxy. Look, we know you've got the Premier League in your sights, so you speak about it coming into this. Is it important to try and put that to the back of your mind and just focus on the Saturday night? Yeah, but, yeah, I was, you know, I was looking, you know, trying to focus on the Premier League. You know, it's not the be-all and end-all for me because, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a not ranked, not ranked at all. But, you know, I think it's, it's pretty much gone now for me unless I win. So I don't think I'm worrying about it too much right now because, you know, it's, it's a big step winning a big tournament like this against, you know, the draw I've got. Um, you know, in my, my own opinion, I don't think I'm in the uh, in Premier League at the moment. You know, I don't think I'm anywhere near unless I win. So we're reducing the field, but you know, I'll make it one day. I don't think I'm too worried about this length of time. I'd rather focus on you know, this tournament and if I win or lose it, you know, I'm, I'm here to win. In the wider context of the season, you're one of the first that's defending the least prize money this year. How big a chance is it to, to push on and get towards the top six league? I mean, it's a huge chance for me this year. I mean, I feel like I will make it in the top six. It's just how far, uh, we'll make it in the top six to me, just how far I will, you know, climb up the ladder. Um, but, you know, if I can qualify for most of the majors this year, the ranking ones, I've got a good opportunity to, uh, you know, to, to break in the top 12, maybe top 10, who knows, you know, it's all, it's all up to me and, you know, I'm a much better player than I was um, maybe 12 months ago, I feel, so it's up to me to, to climb higher and higher as, as hard as I can get. Thank you. Uh, Luke, you mentioned the, the slight tweaks you've, you've had with the darts. Is this the perfect opportunity, the perfect tournament to maybe try a few things and see what the sort of steps? Yeah, you know, it is the same darts as the World Championships, yeah. but, you know, obviously without the colour in it. But I will tweak something different for next week in the Pro Tour. Obviously, I'll, I'll practice them starting Monday or whenever I'm out and 
you know, I'll get used to them. But I thought, you know, it's a good opportunity for me to still Premier League place on the line and stuff like that. So I thought, stick with what I've had been playing with and don't change something and risk opportunities. You know what I mean? So yeah, you know, I feel like all the little difference in the darts I've got is it's not much difference, but if I can create that perfect dart for me that suits my throw. It can it can be a lot better and it can be you know take me to the next level. Excellent. Cheers for time. Thank you. Cheers.